Hi kids, my name is DJ McHale, and I am going to read to you my book, Ta-da, The Monster Princess, written by DJ McHale, that's me, illustrated by Alexandra Boyger. She did all the great pictures, just in case you think I'm lying. That's me, DJ McHale. That's Alexandra, who did the great pictures. And you can follow along with the pictures while I read to you the story of The Monster Princess by DJ McHale, illustrated by Alexander Boyer, in case you forgot. Are you ready? Here we go. Our story began such a long time ago. Or was it last week? We don't really know. A mountaintop castle was home to three girls. Pretty young princesses, shiny bright pearls. These maidens were precious as 12 carat gems. However, this tale is not about them. Down, down, down in places below. The caves can be found where crinkle nuts grow. This world full of monsters is quiet, gloomy, dark. It's spooky. It's not very roomy. The creatures who dwell there are called rugabies. They dig up the crinkles and fight off the fleas. The best crinkle digger was Lala by far. So fast, so brave, a rugabie star. But living in shadow just wasn't her style. She wanted some light for more than a while. A princess is what Lala wanted to be, for they sang and danced while she lived with fleas. Her mom kissed her cheek and said, Try not to care about rings on your toes and the clothes that you wear. She called her sweet daughter, my star who shines bright. But Lala felt more like a gnome trapped in night. She wanted to dance. She wanted to play. She needed to fly, and today was the day. Up, 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 from the dark of her home, she began an adventure to face the unknown. In the castle, a chance. The girls weren't around. She crept in their room and tried on their gowns. The dresses weren't hers. She knew it was wrong. But they made her feel special, so she stayed way too long. Uh -oh. A monster! Our dresses! You're stinky! Get out! The girls all near fainted, and would have, no doubt. But Lala cried, Sorry, I just want a chance to live like a princess, to dress up and dance. The princesses stopped all their shouting and fuss. You want to be special? A princess? Like us? Yes, Lala begged. I may look like a brute, but with dresses and jewelry, I can be quite cute. The princesses huddled and hatched a great plan. All right, they announced. We'll do what we can. What followed was magic. A rare dream come true. Relax, the girls said. We know just what to do. So they scrubbed her and clipped her and brushed out the grime. From monster to princess in next to no time. To the ball, they declared. Lala smiled with delight. There's a ball, she squealed, in the castle tonight? When she entered the hall, it was perfect and bright. But the ending was not to be happy that night. Everyone stared with eyes open wide at the brown little monster who shuffled inside. She wanted to dance, but her claws ripped the gown. She stumbled and bumbled and finally fell down. The people all gaped at the pitiful scene. One laughed, then another, and the sisters turned mean. You're not special at all, 
one barked with a sneer. You're a monster forever. Now get out of here. It was all a cruel trick from the end to the start. Such a horrible joke that broke Lala's heart. Down, 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 she fled back to her room. She wanted it dark. She welcomed the gloom. I belong in this cave forever a troll, doomed to a life in this shadowy hole. All that was left of her hopes was the gown, the torn, tattered dress that brought her dream down. The gown wasn't hers. Never was. She now knew, which meant she had something important to do. So the day after next, up, 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 one more time. To the castle above, she made the long climb. On the way up the path, a shadow arose. Lala crept a bit closer and suddenly froze. She saw the three princesses huddled in fear, trapped by a whiffle who grinned ear to ear. With sour beast breath, the fiend growled out, My, I'm hungry today for sweet princess pie. Lala turned and she ran. Down, 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 far below, back to the caves where the crinkle nuts grow. Said the whiffle, you first, you look tasty to me. After that, I'll eat you, and you're number three. Hello, Mr. Whiffle, Lala called with no fear. If you're hungry, my crinkles are waiting right here. Now, whiffles love crinkles. They eat them all day. Dishalish, he crunched as the girls ran away. Thank you, dear Lala, they cried with a fuss. We were wrong. We're so sorry. You're a princess like us. Lala smiled and said, No, I'm proudly a gnome. Thanks for the offer, but it's time I went home. Mom gave a big hug to her star who shines bright and said, Caves may be dark, but you bring in the light. The once gloomy cavern now had a warm glow. Feeling right with yourself will do that, you know. There's all kinds of special, that's what she found true. Lala's tale is now happy, and yours should be too. So that's the story of the little monster who is trying to be something that wasn't as good as what she already was. She was smart, and she was brave, and she was really a great kid, and she just wanted something that was kind of simple and superfluous, and she ended up being a hero at the end. So that's the story of Lala, the monster princess. I hope you liked it, and I hope you get to read it on your own at some point. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.